We've got an impressive new charger to check out today here in the RC Driver Workshop, and it's from one of my favorite brands for chargers, high tech. You know, for Spectrum batteries, I obviously use their charger because that's what their smart charging system works on. For Traxxas, I use their charger for their power cells, but all the other batteries that I have to charge here for all the other reviews that we're doing, I use high tech chargers. More, more specifically, the X4 Pro and the RDX2 Mini. Those are my go-tos. High tech really Really make some good chargers. So I'm excited to show you guys the new RDX2 1000. Look at the size of this thing. It just means business right when you pull it out of the box. Great looking charger, number one. Uh, what comes in the box, it comes with the power cord. It also comes with a DC hookup. Uh, it's an XT60 plug that you plug in and then it's got the alligator clips on it. It also has a parallel charging lead, which is really cool. And of course the instruction manual. And there's a number of accessories for it as well. I'll show you that in a minute. But first, let's talk about the goods here. Really nice looking charger again. I mean, it's a dual port setup. So you've got your balance leads over on each side. You've got the XT60 plug where you plug in your charge leads or you can plug directly into it with an XT60 plug outfitted battery. It even has a temperature sensor hookup. Uh, there are the external ports so you can go and hook up the, the discharger assembly. Then it has a USB-C plug in the back because you could hook this up to your computer. I'll talk about that in a minute. And then the DC input back there. Massive fan and the LCD screen is lit up, multicolor, very easy to read. And the menus are pretty much the same. I'm not gonna go into massive detail about the menus. You know, we're gonna just talk about what's exciting about this particular charger setup here. It's a multi-chemistry charger. It does every RC battery that you need to charge up. Uh, LIHV, regular lithium polymers, Li-ion, nickel metal hydride, lead acid, all that good stuff. The different cycling programs, charge discharge, you can monitor your battery. Uh, and that's where that USB-C port comes in. They have a charge master program that you can download on your PC and monitor and analyze your batteries and their performance. So that's one great feature that you can get out of this. The other thing is what this charger can handle. Now it's a 1000 watt charger on a DC power and it'll handle up to 450 watts through AC. So on DC, you could do up to 20 amps per channel on this. And then if you really wanna get the most out of this, you can use the parallel adapter and charge up to 35 amps with this charger, which is really what a lot of car guys want to do nowadays, especially in racing. They want to get the most performance out of their packs and this charger system is going to allow them to do that. And that's where I'm going to start talking about the accessories. We've got the AD350 analyzer and discharger module that you could plug in. It comes just as you see it, this really cool looking black box massive heat sink on the inside. There's a fan uh, out back, of course, to cool this thing down when you're discharging. There's your input ports there and really nicely done setup. And along with this comes the wiring harness so you could hook this up. Now, why would you want this complete setup? Well, when racers, drivers are looking to get the most performance out of the battery packs, what they like to do is charge up the pack discharge it and then charge it up again to warm up the pack and lower the internal resistance, get the maximum performance out of the battery pack. And this system is what will allow you to do that. So you could charge the battery pack at 35 amps with this, discharge it at 40 amps, and then charge it back up again at 35 amps. And you've got that race ready battery pack. So there's a couple other little cool features that I noticed while I was running through the instruction manual on this. You could also use this as a DC supply. So if you want to go and use it as a power supply for your tire warmers. You can go ahead and do that through one of the ports. As I mentioned before, there is also the charge master analyzer. You could also quickly use it as a battery meter. It's a really versatile charger. All right, really quick, let me show you some of the other accessories that come with it. They have some charge cables for it. They got the mesh sleeve around it. Everything is nicely soldered. And then it's got the XT60 plug. And on the other end, it's got a four millimeter stepped up to a five millimeter bull plug on it. And then the balance lead that's a, for a 2s pack and then they also have some adapters for ec3 and ec5 plugs that go down to the xt60 so they've got everything covered here 
for what a, a lot of guys use for racing, what bashers use, let's say you want to go and charge up a 6S pack uh, for your basher, you can go charge it up at 10 amps if you want to. The 1000 could handle what most enthusiasts are looking to charge their battery packs at nowadays. And what I really like about Hitex chargers and a lot of their products is their customer service. You know, there's a lot of charger brands out there and they're overseas and they're kind of hard to get a hold of, but with Hitex, those guys are true enthusiasts and they really want to help other enthusiasts out. So they're always there to answer your questions. All the links in the video description below and hit that like button while you're there.